This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow right back here with another episode of... Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, another episode of Jade Empire. In the last episode, we... Uh, <coughs> oh, man, wow, spirits are giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, in the last episode, we finally got convinced... Uh, well, we finished all the like last little bits of quests and quests and things we can do in the in our in two rivers as uh, we talked to <coughs> we talked to our master lee which we found out who was a uh, was actually the brother of the emperor oh yeah i guess i forgot to mention that uh, uh ghosts are immune to weapons by the way yeah oh well uh yeah now we can uh yeah now we're in here to well Get our get our reward, which is the amulet, uh, which we can put uh, certain tokens into to improve our abilities, uh, amongst other things, and to learn more about our destiny. We know that we are the uh, we are the son of monks from Howling what was it Howling Ridge or something like that, Howling Winds, and we gotta get our destiny here because Master Lee feels we are prepared for who knows when the uh, those asa Lotus Assassins will come back. But let's go to the next part, shall we? The writing on the clay tablet is strangely illegible. Ra rather than being poorly inscribed, it seems to change as you try to read it. You notice that the amulet found in this room has started to glow dimly. <laughs> try to smash the seal. You strike the seal, but your blow does nothing. As it seems to be only simply clay, you should have be been able to shatter it. Clearly magic is at work. Ugh, it feels like... Magic. No, that's what Superman says every time he has to deal with that crap. No, uh, hold up the amulet you found in this room. The amulet goes brighter, and suddenly the inscription on the clay seal is clearly legible. My student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. All right, yeah, basically the game saying, all right, tutorial's over. Rest of the game, you're on your own. Uh, also, oh yeah, last episode we also beat the crap out of Gal the Lesser. However, I feel like we're not done with him because we didn't actually kill him. And he used forbidden magic to try and attack us, which means he's a little little wuss trying to attack us from behind. Be a real man. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't sung the Be a Man song yet in this game with its close ties. Be a man. A clay tablet like others you previously encountered, the script is once again written in your master's hand. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave two rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies, too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. Well, I mean, it'll be changed because it's a different loading screen, right? And then we'll be prepared for the next, uh... A student here? I had long forgotten the stench of the living. I ruined this place, taught with wisdom. Why can't I find my way? Where is the voice that should call to me? Uh, looks like it's an uh, unknown spirit of some sort. Uh, bad ghost, I've been warned about your lies. Speak your torment, I must understand. You ruled here. Were you master of the s at the school? Master, student, farmer, whatever I was, I should be dust. Instead, I pulled to nowhere. Frustration. The way is blocked. The fresh effort is gone. Cannot escape the living. Milling, stinking. You cloud the way. Who clouds the way was blocking you? Where do you need to go? Who's the shepherd? Bah, despite your words, you are mindless as the other ghosts. You cannot see nothing, but soon you will know. The number grows even larger if no souls return to the living. What will become of the world if no souls are replenished? Eventually there will be an end. You are blind to the danger, blind to the truth. You can only understand if you see. Do you see? I will make you see. I will make you understand. Time for a boss fight? Yeah, it's boss fight, sort of. 
against the old master and his minions. All right, a little bit of a. All right, what was the? Yeah, that's it. I was like, what was the button I'm swapping out again? Luckily, the uh, his uh, minions are pretty easy to take out. Uh, oh, whoop. oh, looks like he's got magic. Your key strikes, or whatever. You want. Oh, we've been slowed by his uh, heavy attack or whatever it's called. Yeah, heavy. Certain spells have a heavy attack, and they do different effects depending on the spell and everything like that. Might as well heal myself up just in case. This guy's not too bad. Gal the Lesser was a bit tougher than this guy is. At least I believe so, anyway. I mean, yeah, you can't use your weapons on him, but I can use. If I really wanted to, I guess I could use focus, which is. Let's see, which. Oops, nope, wrong button. Let me see if I can activate focus. There it is, it's Y, okay. So if you Y, we can slow down combat and attack him that way and do extra damage and all that. So if you can't use your weapon, this is another way to do it. So, eh, so I ran out of key, whatever. Whatever you, dog. My powers stretch thin, bled away, and you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search. But look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. Oh, there's our there's our last moniker, or the, our next moniker. We're no longer uh, we're no longer a uh, uh, senior student. We are now spirit monks. That's our official title now, I believe. I think it changes one more time over the course of the story. And what is it with a lot of stories making watery tarts telling you about your destiny? There was like you know. King Arthur, there was Shining Force, there's this, and probably a million other games I can mention. What is it with watery tarts, you know? They throw a scimitar and they think you're a king, and everyone thinks you're mad. Anyway. Uh, Alright, so who are you? What is this? Another trick of the dead? What is a spirit monk? What is this? Another trick of the dead? I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power. A window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire. And I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. Hey, at least this watery tart's going to give us something cool. Apparently she'll allow us the ability to throw fire or ice from our hands. That's cool. I choose fire, or sorry, I choose the flame, I'll choose the ice. If I chose one, am I prevented from wearing the other one? If I am chosen, if I choose one, am I prohibited from wearing the other? I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one, not both. Knowledge of the other may come in time. But not today. Yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, this decision is another one where you just get the ability early. You do learn the other uh, ability spell later. I don't remember where though. It's not too long. I think it's about a quarter of the way through the game. You learn the other ability. I think. Um, ice basically. I mean, there's no. As far as I remember, there's not really a whole lot of uh, situations of elemental weaknesses. It's more like what the ability can do in its strong mode. Because ice has the ability in a strong mode to cause like an ice, like a, a, a surround, like ice dropping, like what that guy did to us when we were fighting that that uh, spirit leader there a second ago. It can cause to cause uh, over like area effect uh, area effect damage and slow us. While the flame one causes, uh, I think 
burning damage. I think when it hits us with its strong attack, you get the burning condition, which means your HP slowly dwindles until you move around or whatever and, and put it out. So either one's a solid ability. Um, I don't know why. I'm kind of a big fan of ice when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know why. So I'm going to choose ice. Emotions burn, but the spirit can also turn cold and strike with grim resolve. Command this, and you chill the hearts of your enemies. Yours is the power of Ice Shard. Alright, nice. We can shoot ice from our hands, just like that guy we beat. Should have just absorbed it from him like Mega Man. Is this the kind of style Master Lee cautioned Gao against? Well, Gao did use fire, so Master finally Master Lee withheld such knowledge. Oh yeah, there we go. Finally, Master Lee has withheld such knowledge. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action. Only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. Huh, a, tor a tornado of spirit energy. Convenient! But yeah, we get the style ice shard ability. The other one's like flaming s flame sphere or something like that or whatever, so. Alright! We can now enter the portal to get out of here. Um, but yeah, this watery spirit has told us that about the restless spirits and that we must fix it somehow because we're the spirit monk, apparently. There's no one else. Ooh, we get another gem and structured body ability. Um, that. If we want to equip abilities, we are equipped new uh, things. We go to our amulet and equip it. Oops, I unequipped it. Oops. Uh, this one gives you plus two to intuition. So, if because of that, yeah, there's actually gems in the game that'll actually improve your conversation skills. Although, obviously, you don't really want to have those equipped during combat. But yeah, our intuition we've been five now. It's seven. So I'll just equip it just because I've got nothing else. But um, but yeah, uh, let's see. We also get. In the new quest, after acquiring the artifact called the Dragon Amulet, you encountered several ghosts, including a mysterious female spirit who spoke in riddles. She claims you were the last spirit monk, but she explained no more. Of course, min uh, watery tarts with, min uh, with energy far above our own, or at least knowledge of far above our own, will never tell us straight up what to do. Because <sighs> that would just make it too easy and we'd, we'd finish the game already. The vortex of magical energy seems to be the only way out of the cave. You hope it'll take you back to Master Lee. Uh, oh, yeah, we also got a new technique. Let me go back to that. Um, technique. Uh, structured body. Health plus three, intimidation plus one. Ooh. Uh, intense training can result in more than a healthy physique. With an understanding of the body's subtleties, one also realizes that slight shifts of weight can change a stance, uh, or, and change a stance can get, uh, give one's arguments more force. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Scroll stand. Jane Empire Beast Theory, Volume 3. To kill a spirit... A wise monk once asked, Can you kill a thing that is already dead? The answer is simple, you cannot. You can, however, disperse a spirit. This is not the same as killing, but it has a similar effect. It is important to remember that spirits are virtually immune to man-made weapons. You must confront spirits with martial, magic, or transformation styles. Never underestimate the spirit strength of spirits. They may appear insubstantial, but they can still be deadly to the living. Yeah, I mean, you already could have figured it out in combat, but the game also straight up tells you weapons won't work. You have to use your other abilities. And what's this? Oh, 100 silver. Yoink! Uh, okay. Uh, before you go in there... Yeah, because you can't... By the way, you can't come back here, so make sure you check everything or grab whatever you need to grab, so... The Nature of the Spirit, Volume 1. Mankind is long known that we are not alone in the world. this world. Descended from heavens, risen from the ground, present all around us our spirits. There, these beings go often go unseen, but when they choose to interact with us, the effect is usually profound. But what are these beings? Are they people who have died? Are they servants created at the beginning of the world by the great dragon? Are they something else entirely? Or are they all the above? In my research, I have managed to find and communicate with a number of them. I contacted some through priests or relatives when it was a spirit returned from the dead, but others' encounters were much stranger. Um, later on, there's an ability you can get that gives you, or I think it's actually a gem you can earn that gives you a bonus on reading 
uh, scroll stance and stuff like that, so you might keep that uh, in mind. It's one of those you have to like swap in and out of your uh, your equipment because you keep. I keep forgetting to take it out of my inventory a lot of time, or not inventory off my amulet when I get it. But we'll get to that whenever it is. So, all right, let's get out of here. Tell Master Lee what we've learned, and I guess head on to wherever because he said we need to leave two rivers and we want to solve our destiny, same as that lady. So, can't wait to tell Dawn. Yeah, I wonder if she'll be. I would like her to come with us, but I almost feel like this is going to be our solo destiny, you know. Just disregard the fact she was a follower. She's clearly one of those temporary followers that the games give you just to kind of get you settled in the mood. And they're like, okay, this is how this works. But now we'll give you the actual characters. Let's see. The way the Blue Coast Swiss was originally put forth by a philosopher named Bladed Thesis, who felt that strength was the ultimate virtue. I think the game also tells you that on the lines, either through reading material or a character if I remember, well, I guess I don't want to say it until we actually get to the game, but there's the there's more to the harmony and dissonance other than your mentality and certain decisions and stuff like that. So, hey, Teach. What are you doing out here? You are supposed to be meditating on the amulet and what you have learned for at least another day. Well, is, I mean, is meditation really supposed to have a time? I mean, if you learn enlightenment, you learn enlightenment. Yo, look at me. I'm totally enlightened. I didn't need that long. A spirit released me. A spirit released you? That explains your strange exit. This is a very sudden development I did not foresee. Perhaps it has something to do with your amulet. Uh, tell me, did you learn anything about the destiny that stretches before you? Or what has led you this far? Huh. Master, you seem a little almost, like, unsure of yourself. That's a bit odd for you. Usually you're pretty confident in you. It's almost like you're saying a specific script or something like that. Eh, it's probably years of experience and confidence. This is just one of the few times that you kind of surprised me there. Huh. Uh, she says, like, spirit monk, what does that mean? You've kept things from me. What is a spirit monk? You've kept things from me. What is a spirit monk? Be careful. I do not want you to be misled by sources I cannot anticipate. Your people had warriors by that name. I regret that my actions caused their downfall. Twenty years ago, the Empire was mired in drought. Your people revered the Water Dragon, so their Temple of Dirge was the ideal place to ask the heavens for help. But the Water Dragon governed more than just moisture. The drought was part of the natural order, and not for mortals to alter. The spirit monks denied us access. The Emperor was incensed. He asked me to plan a display of power that would force their compliance. As our armies marched, I realized how wrong we were. Mm -mm. So because the, the, the Emperor didn't get his toy or didn't get hit what he wanted, he showed a little bit of a tantrum and basically murdered a whole group of people that possibly, according to a lot of people, helped shepherd the dead. Great. Thanks thanks for that, Emperor. We a really low... Uh, Thought on the thought pole on that one. Did you try to stop your brother? Too little, too late. You said my people were slaughtered. They were. I could not dissuade my brother, so I fled with you. You must discover for yourself what being the last of your kind means. What else did this vision reveal? You were only to retrieve the amulet, learn to place gems in it, and meditate on your future. I don't want you to be distracted. Master Lee, there's still no sign of her. What? What is it, Wu? I'm sorry, my mind was elsewhere. Dawn Stars, I told you, Master. She went missing after Gao's men were discovered in the school. The state of her room suggests some sort of fight took place. I see. She is not there? No, Master Lee. There's no sign of her. I see. This may prove useful. Thank you, Jing Wu. You may go. Your appearance put Gao's disgrace out of my mind, but it would seem that your early exit from the caves has come at just the right time. Why would you say Don being missing be useful? What's wrong with you? Don Star is a treasure. I mean, uh, what do you mean when you said this would be useful? I didn't mean to appear callous. I'm sure Dawnstar is fine. 
What I meant was that this will serve as a final measure of your abilities. What better way to show mastery over your abilities than to turn them towards helping your fellow student? Seek her out. I doubt she is in the school, and someone would have seen her if she was in the village. You might want to try the surrounding marshland. Oh boy, now to save Dawnstar. Hopefully Gal isn't done. Hopefully she's just missing and Gal the Lesser hasn't done anything to her because they did say something about him and her leaving or something like that. So, hmm. Maybe I'm just assuming things. I bet she's fine. Maybe she's just out for air or something like that. I'll start right away. I have more questions about what I've seen. Let Dawnstar fit for herself. If she is strong, she'll survive. I need more information at this train before I'm supposed to go. Uh, let Dawnstar fend for herself. If she's strong, she'll survive. Your master commands that you find her. If not to bring her back, then to teach her captor that this will not be tolerated. Gao insults your accomplishments with this action. He insults my accomplishments? Wouldn't it be more your accomplishments? Because you're the one who's supposed to keep him on a leash, dude. Alright, whatever. I don't need more information that I'm supposed to go on. I have more questions about what I've seen. Questions must wait. Time is critical. Take some silver. I asked Fendo and the others to stock essence gems in preparation for this day. Hopefully they have done so. You learned in the cave how single gems are viewed as trinkets and used by self-professed healers and would-be sorcerers, but you can unlock their full potential. Make sure you have everything you need when you leave to find Dawnstar. Do not cloud your mind with anything else. When you return, your course will be clear. All right, and the save screen. Thanks. Yeah, we get we get a Discord because we said Dawn should fend for herself. Not really Dawn. If we meet Dawn Star, we'll totally not say that to her. Seriously. You have anything else to say, Master Lee? Dawn Star needs you. Gao will not simply hide in the village. Leave quickly, but take your time searching the marshes. All will be clear when you return. <sighs> well, you know, Gal Bear not a harm to hair on her head. Otherwise, he will meet a fist to the face and lose a couple of teeth in the action. Let me tell you what. Although, I mean, she is a warrior like me, and she's not as strong as me, but, I mean, you think she... Maybe... I wonder if he just got her from behind. Although Gal was supposed to apparently be on a similar level to me, but still. I suppose you are looking for Dawnstar. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen her. I wonder if you would look for any of the rest of us with the same interest. Somehow I doubt it. I'm surprised you don't know where she is. I would have thought you, if anyone, would know. Hey, we're not we're not chained together. Although, I mean, I, I do care about where she is. It's just, you know. Uh, I want to ask you about Don Sir's friends. You know where we're here? Is there any news? Oh, she finally gets to talk to us after all this time. Oh, we can finally spar with her after not being pissed off at me because of what I said earlier. Um... Uh, because I think, yeah, last time I talked to her, I think I only got a few bits of information from her. You know everyone around here. Is there any news? You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip. Even if I am just that. Who are the students of note? Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar... Is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Not that you don't deserve the attention. I'd be flirting with you non-stop if you weren't so focused on whatever it is Master Lee has in store for you. All of us get a little envious of that. Even Gao gets pushed aside, and he doesn't like being anything less than the center of attention. Well, now he, he's out of here now, but we, we weren't able to get these conversations out of her earlier, so that's why I'm asking them now. Tell me about Gao. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the greater and Gao the lesser. Not a family I would want to be a part of. I feel like, Lee, that you are quite jelly with either me or Dawn. I don't know why. I just have a feeling about it. Tell me about Dawnstar. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone, as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Frankly, I think she might have a little crush on you, too. Notice how she's been less willing to train with you recently? Maybe that's why you two get along so well. 
Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. Hmm, you think that she's a... You think that she she's a big fan of the bald head? Yeah, everyone's a fan of the bald head. What are you getting at? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be like that. Dawnstar is a fine person. She just sees things that I can't. I know there are ghosts and spirits, but why should she be able to sense them when I can't? What makes her special? While Master Lee tries to never let it show, he obviously holds a special place in his heart for you two. I suppose that's hard to deal with, even if I have been here far less time than you two. Well, Dawnstar is special because she has a unique face model. Your model is used multiple times throughout the game. So, what have you heard about me? You know what is said. Master Lee believes you're special, but won't say why. It makes you interesting. Some of the others don't find it as intriguing as I do. Some even consider it an attack on their worth. Well, it should. I'm totally awesome. Who should I be concerned about? Gao, obviously. You know he doesn't like you. He never has. And when Master Lee tells him to model himself after you, that just makes it worse. Hmm, I guess that would piss him off. Let's go back to the other questions. If you wish. What do you want to ask about? Um, uh, we were asked about that. What do you do with Master Lee? Master Lee took me in when no one else would. He is a firm master, but a kind man deep inside. Hmm. So apparently he just, just, just grabs children off the streets and just trains them in martial arts, apparently. Well, I guess better to focus their energy somewhere, right? How did Master Lee come here? I imagine that he walked. If you want anything more than that, you'll have to ask someone who was here at the time. That was 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah he walked. I'll punch you in the face. Who was Master Lee? Who was Master before Master Lee? I really don't know or care. It may as well have been Sagacious Tien, the first emperor. That was before I was born. Good to know. Good to know that you respect and understand the history, Lee. Yeesh. Master Lee told me he was the emperor's brother. The emperor's brother? I thought both of his brothers died 20 years ago. Master Lee says a lot of odd things. You probably just misheard him. I like how you can basically tell the truth of Master Lee yet no one really believes you. They're just like, yeah, right, whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, tell me what you've been hearing about ghosts. Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories. But they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones. And mad ghosts attacking people on the roads or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's easier to believe what you can see. If you can't see it, I mean, it's it's the same with other things, like magic, religion, and other things. What exactly are these ghosts? They're exactly what you'd expect. The souls of humans who have died. According to all the legends, when you die, your soul travels to the underworld. Once there, your soul is judged and placed upon the wheel of life so that it can return to this world in a new life. A soul that doesn't return to the wheel of life becomes a ghost. Becomes a ghost! Um, then are you? What do ghosts look like? That was my first question when I started hearing these rumors. Apparently they can look just like us, though possibly pale and faded. Some ghosts have been around a long time, and apparently they begin to change. They grow distant from their bodies and become more monsters than people. The scary thing is that a lot of the stories I've been hearing are about these old ghosts. The ones that look like monsters. It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Did I ever ask where the ghosts came from? Where do these ghosts come from? According to the stories, ghosts are usually people whose souls are trapped in this world, either by circumstance or because they won't let go of their old lives. The thing is, those circumstances are very rare, and you never heard about ghosts ten years ago. Now everyone's talking about them. It's like something has happened, and people aren't leaving this world like they should be. Either that or it's mass hysteria, but I can't believe that explanation. Hmm. 
Everyone keeps saying something about the ghost coming ten years ago. I wonder what happened ten years ago. Hmm. Well, well we don't know. Um, uh, okay. Tell me about more about Dawnstar's sensitivity. From what I understand, Dawnstar is very sensitive to magic and to the spirits we call ghosts. She sees things that others can't. Sometimes she knows things that she shouldn't. I really can't say if it's intuition or something else. Hmm. Go back to my old questions. If you Okay, we need to ask her about that, but we're running a little low on time. Goodbye. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to cut it. She basically said, I hope you find Dawnstar. So it looks like uh looks like Gao has taken his uh hatred out on the on the uh the school and us and Dawnstar. We knew he's macking on her, but who knew that you'd go to the site psychotic extent of kidnapping her i bet he just took her from behind without even without even uh her knowing because otherwise i bet she would be able to handle just fine but where is dawn star he said she uh lee says she's in the swamp but we'll have to ask the rest of the students here as well as the villagers and get prepared for perhaps our next biggest test will we be able to find dawn star what do the marshes hold for us find out next time in the next episode of jade empire thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.